hello class basi karibu kwenye mafunzo ya physics tulivuona kipande cha measurement tukaona tukaona newton's law of motion basi leo tena na kipengele cha tatu ambacho kinasema projectile motion topic ambayo wengi wanaonaga ni ngumu lakini ukielewa ni moja kati ya topic ambazo ni za kawaida sana kwenye physics na kufanya maswali mengi tu na ku understand concept vizuri jinsi ya resolve na ku, kama umeelewa newton's law of motion ndogo kule ndokao unapata wepesi. Kwa kama wajangala hizo clip za Newton's law of motion, unaweza kaziangalia hapo ili upate njia. Kwanza tuje tuangalie kwa undani sasa kuhusu ya projectile motion. Napoongelea projectile motion ni motion of a body in a parabolic path. Lazima hiyo body kwanza part ipita kwenye parabolic path. Na kwa parabola ingetufanya kama semicircle hivi. Kwa hiyo body kama ukirusha jiwe hapa likipita hivi kama mtoto anabonda mtoto mwenzake yuko hapa akirusha ile juu sharp sio lazima liende juu sana hata liki, hata likipita tu hivi mradi litengeneze parabolic path hata kurusha mshale ukirusha mshale juu unavyoenda ku hit at a certain target hiyo tunapoongelea projectile motion sa projectile motion what is it? what is it it is a motion of a body in air under the influence of gravity is a motion of a body body in air under the influence under the influence of gravity of gravity ambayo hiyo body inakuwa ina move in air under the influence of gravity in a parabolic path in a parabolic path kwa lakini hii projectile motion kuna terminology unavyoiendea projectile motion lazima kuna terminology uwe awareness za nazo. Ya kwanza tunasema proje, proje, projectile. What is a projectile? Napoongelea projectile is a body is a body body which is projected. Kama ni ile body ambayo inakuwa projected na ile, ile kile kitu ambacho nakirusha kama umerusha jiwe hapa hadi hapa kwa ile jiwe ambalo ngome umerusha ile ndo projectile what is it? another terminology is a trajectory Tra j trajectory what is it what is a trajectory what is a tra trajectory what is, trajectory is a path followed by a projectile kama ni ile path ambayo projectile inakuwa imepita pale ile inaitwa trajectory ni njia terminology nyingine inaitwa range 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 is a horizontal horizontal distance traveled by the projectile kwamba ni horizontal distance kwamba kutoka hapa hadi hapa hii ndo range kwamba ni ile mtu umerusha jiwe jiwe likatoka hapa hii ndo kwa point of projection mtoto amesimama hapa akarusha huku hapa hii hii ndo horizontal distance hii hii ndo trajectory hii board ambayo inakuwa thrown hapa hii ndio inaitwa trajectory another terminology yani tunasema maximum height max height ni ile maximum vertical vertical height attained attained or reached by a projectile kwamba ni hapa vertical distance hii hapa ambao projectile ili reach hapa ilifika ili attain hii ndio tunaita maximum height kwa hiyo ile sehemu ya juu kama hapa hii hapa hii hii point hii hii point ndio tunaita maximum height point nyingine tunasema ya tano tunasema point of projection point of projection 
Le Jekshi. Kamba ni izye. Is a point where a floor or a, a person stand or it is a point where a projectile is projected. You know, the point of projection is a point where a projectile is started to be projected. Kamba e point up on it a point of projection. It's going to start from the point of projection. Kamba nile point ambayo mtu alisimama kanza akanza kui slow ile, ile object ambayo alikuwa na deal nayo pali. Nashuwa nguja kuangilea sama angle of projection. Angle of projection. Of projection. Angle of projection ya po. Na kuangilea angle of projection is angle. Is an angle. Is an angle between the horizontal distance and the trajectory kwamba ni point ni ko i angle ambayo inakuwa imetengenezeka hapa kwenye hii horizontal surface na hii trajectory ni angle ambayo inakuwa imetengenezeka hapa at between the trajectory and the horizontal distance hasa tuje tu derive basi formula za kutafuta hiyo Maximum height height ta ya kwanza tunasema cha kwanza from Newton second kwenye ile Newton equation of motion v square sawa na u square plus 2 as lakini hapo hiyo sema s s ndio tarehe ta sawa na let consider this be our diagram here and this is the point of projection z here is the resultant velocity and here is a vertical velocity and here it is an horizontal velocity and another addition point here before we deriving this equation there are two motion which make up a projectile there is a vertical motion vertical motion vertical vertical and horizontal 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 motion this one is a horizontal and this one vy it is a vertical motion lakini kuna limitation 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 of projectile motion projectile motion limitation ya kwanza tunasema air resistance is negligible air resistance is negligible is is negligible Af, ya pili tunasema acceleration due to gravity is kept constant A, acceleration chain due to gravity is constant kwa hizi ni assumption or limitation za kwenye projectile motion let's now derive the equation for the horizontal distance and for the maximum height attained by the projectile motion and the time of flight lakini tunaanza na maximum height max height projectile motion ya put from the newton law equation nasema v square sawa na u square plus 2 as but acceleration tumesema na consider kama negative g sababu body inakuwa ina drop downward sa afu kusema s ndio kusema sasa hii tunaiwaga inakuwa denoted by letter h kuta h maana naongelea hiyo maximum height h let it to be as equal to h but the final this v is final velocity ev ni final velocity ambayo final velocity atujia atujipata bado kwa hiyo itakuwa final velocity itakuwa ni zero lakini napoongelea 
emotion unataka kuangalia kwamba it is in a vertical motion kwa hiyo hii hapa ilikuwa ni vy alafu na hii ilikuwa ni vy kwa that why tusema there are two motion which make up one projectile motion here so this after resolving here we see that the angle projection near theta after resolving by trigonometric ratios we, we will get here it will be v not this one v cos of theta and here it will be v not sin of theta so this one vx it will be is equal to this one vy it will be is equal to this one and vx it will be is equal to this one so we come and substitute here vy is equal to v not sin of theta let's substitute it vy vy we say that it is equal to vy is equal to zero and here it will be vy, VY square minus 2g8 let to take this negative to this side it will be 2gh is equal to vy ui square 8 it will be is equal to ui square over 2g let substitute ui here 8 will be ui is equal to v not sine it will be v not square sine square theta over 2g this one is a equation or formula for the maximum height kwa hii ndo formula ya maximum height ukwambia derive na derive kwa namna hiyo hapo let's derive the formula for the time period time period denoted by letter t a capital letter t as we consider from the Newton equation v is equal to u plus at as we say v final is equal to 0 and here what we consider is a vertical motion vy is equal to 0 and v ui is equal to v not sin of theta and a is equal to negative g so we come and substitute here 0 is equal to v not sin of theta minus g t g t is equal to v not sin of theta t is equal to v not sin of theta over g but this t uh, small letter t it is a time taken by the projectile from the point of projection to the point where it reach a maximum height so this is the time is, is the time taken from this point to this point so to calculate the time taken by by an object from the point of projection to the point where it is run we come to take the time taken to reach here times plus the time taken to reach here so time to complete from the point of projection to the point where it will land it will be time is equal to 2t from the point of projection to the point where it will land here is the point of projection it here is the point of where it is land here from here to here we get t and from here and here it will be t so to get a full time period it will be 2t so time period t is equal to 2 times v not sin of theta over g so t is equal to 2 v not sin of theta g so the formula to calculate the time period is given by this formula let's come to the side of range and I want to consider about range the horizontal distance traveled by, by the body from the point of projection to the point where it land range horizontal distance tunajua velocity velocity is equal to distance distance over time period period 
and here yeah, the kind of velocity we are considering here it is a horizontal velocity and distance we are considering here it is a range and the time period we are considering here it is a time period t this one and what wha what is what we are considering at this point so r r will be t times vx but we know r is equal to t is equal to 2 v not sin of theta over g and vx vx is equal to from this one from the two motion which i make up the projectile motion we are saying that vx is equal to v not cos of theta after resolving by using trigonometric ratio kwa kutumia zile trig ratios ukija kuresolve hapa ndio upata cos of theta is equal to vx is equal to v not cos of theta kwa hiyo uje substitute hapa kwa ni v not cos of theta ala tumesema ni sawa sawa na v not 2 sin of theta cos of theta over g lakini ukija kwenye upande wa trig ratios hiki kitu hiki hapa ni sawa sawa ukichukua 2 sin of theta cos of theta ni sawa sawa kusema sin of 2 theta kwenye double angle pale kwenye trig ndio upata hichi kitu kwa ala kama hujasoma kama ni form 5 tukiendelea mbele uje kuweka vipindi vya bam zani kwa upande wa mathematics advanced tunaendelea tuta sababu trig wa bam na advanced wanasoma pia advanced mathematics tutaja kuviweka kwa pamoja kwa kama usiofu usikutie mashaka sana ila hapa sababu hata kule tutakalili hivyo hivyo na au tutaona tu jinsi ya kudelive kidogo lakini hii ndio inabidi kichwani wagi hivyo ndio kitu kilicho constant kwa hata ukikalili na kwa ina shida kwa hiyo kusema hapa ni sign of 2 theta over g zani mpaka hapo tumeda live hizo common equation as the normally in examination to daily live the equation of maximum height time period and horizontal distance traveled by the projectile motion thank you and subscribe and usisau kushare kwa watu wengine pia usisau kujiunga katika group la telegram lilo hapo chini katika hizo linki kwa ajili ya kuendelea kupata maswali mengine zaidi haya kulotana na wanafunzi mbalimbali kutoka Tanzania bara na Tanzania visiwani ambao utashare maswali zaidi na mtapata solving vizuri zaidi pamoja na usimamizi mzuri zaidi pia usahau kama unataji notes unaweza kuzipata notes in form of pdf and word document pia unaweza kuzipata sante usahau kusubscribe Mungu akubariki sana